All right, we're out here at Fast Guy Slow Bikes Homestead, and we've got an XR 650R here, and we found these two chicks, and we're uh -huh. gonna do it how to start an XR 650R video. In case you haven't watched the how to start an XR 600 video, it's the same pattern. Brianna has never ridden a dirt bike before, so tell everyone how easy it is. Yes, how easy it is. She's gonna shame all the men. So tell us the starting procedure, Brianna. All right, I am not good at this. <laughs> so you kick down until you feel the stopping point. Yes, top dead center, we call it. Okay, that. And we've done this literally ones of times, so it's we got this. And then now you hold this uh, doohickey, which we call the decomp lever. And you go one click past that. Sure, you did. Okay. And that's how easy it that's is. That's it. Now, what do I do to make this video 10 minutes long? <laughs> All right, you try it, Austin. <laughs> we all your videos got to be. Got it? Yeah. Good job. And we put her in boots since. All y'all shit talkers talk about <laughs> what? my wife being in Crocs when she did it. Good job, you killed it. Yes. <laughs> Top dead center, decomp, one click. Ooh. Wow, Brianna did it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> And of we did it. Yeah, but I saw it like every think other Think Max day. can start it? Yeah, look how excited he gets. People don't recognize Max after his air gun now. All right. How to start a DRZ 400. This is how we stretch out this video. Oh, it's in gear. Yeah, very easy. We did it. It's the hardest thing to start here. Lawnmower is easier to start, but it works on all the XRs. We already did that bike. This is the new 88. Let's fire up the 88. You hold this. All right. Hello, everyone. This is the bike we picked up from South Carolina. Is that the one that just got engine work done on? Yeah. And what did we do to it? Oh, I wonder if the old carburetor's sitting there. Yeah. Let's show everyone the old carb. All right, what was wrong with that carb? It got left open, stuck? Uh, this is called a choke plate and it's bent. It's supposed to be flat right now. That's okay. supposed to be closed. Oh, and that's broken, mm -hmm. right? So like that should be totally closed. And it should look like this. And this is a carb off of a DRZ. Yeah. All right. Yeah, don't mind the mess. <laughs> what did you just do? Did you just pull the choke in? Yeah. This bike has sat for the last like few weeks. Explain to our, <laughs> can you explain to our viewers why this exhaust is kind of covered and why it has a cap on it compared to a normal exhaust like this? That's a weird exhaust. It's called a super trap. And why would anybody put that on their bike? I'm pretty sure these Allen bolts. Oh, that one's loose. 
pretty sure these Allen bolts like close and open this to help tune it. But I'm not sure. Where does the air come out of? Stupid question the of the side day. Here. These are like fins. Hmm. Yeah. Is that like what? I just I just don't understand. Oh, you want? I really want to be able to start it so I can race it. I think you can race it. I think you do, you're going to have to start it for me off the racing line. You, you just did it. Yeah, Jake, but I can't do it fast. Yeah, but if you're already set and all you have to do is get off. It doesn't matter. Even it. if you get last place, you're the coolest person on the track. Because I'm married to Jake Gillum. That's why. Because <laughs> yeah, you're racing an XR650. Sweet. What can go wrong? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> there they come. There the beating beating the Amazon truck which is not moving. Hmm. Starting a bike in the rain. What happened? Oh. <laughs> CTR 50 for sale. As is, no warranty. <laughs>